You want to try and avoid mixing in circular motion too. That can create uh, air bubbles, which will lead to what's called pinholes. Okay, update time. Inners welded, rocker, outer rocker welded, cab corner welded. All the welds are ground down, metal is prepped, and we are ready for a coat of mud. Helps smooth everything over. Mud being body filler, bondo, whatever you want to call it. Got our bondo here. This is actually Z-Grip by Evercoat. It's a lightweight filler. And conveniently, the instructions on how to mix it are on the can. Right there. So it's basically, for the portion of Bondo that you have, you wanna squeeze out a ribbon of the hardener. About the same size. So a two inch, two inch pile, you want like a, a one inch ribbon. Um, you just want to make sure that you need this set because it, it will separate the need to need it. Mmm, love that smell. It's been a while. You're really not supposed to mix it on cardboard or any other fibrous board because it actually will absorb the, the properties and <clears throat> it'll mess up your mix. That's what they say. That's what I've heard. I've always used cardboard. So this should get us a pretty good start. try and avoid mixing in a circular motion too. That can create uh, air bubbles, which will lead to what's called pinholes, which is small voids in your plastic. And once you've uh, pretty much got a uniform color, there's no no streaks of hardener mixed in. No streaks of unmixed Bondo. It's all, it's all uniform in color. You're ready to spread. So, here we go. Just gonna apply a coat of it. trying to get it real smooth on your first coat. Your first coat is primarily your filler coat. So it doesn't have to be pretty. You also want to try and avoid changing the direction that you spread. You want to try and Keep it in the same direction. You don't want to spread like this and then turn around and spread like this. That also will create air pockets. Sometimes it can't be avoided. But for the most part, you want to try to avoid that. welds, spot welds, you just want to just a 
apply a thin coat. It's just going to help smooth them out. All right, so uh, pretty much got everything spread out. And depending on temperature, that, that actually does affect the dry time. Um, it's a little bit chilly in here, so uh, it may take a little while hard enough to get to the right consistency to be sanding. You don't want it to be rock hard. You want to catch it before it gets too hard. That way it's easier to sand, but uh, we'll keep an eye on it. So it's been about 10 minutes and uh, what you can do is you can, you can push on it and as long as it doesn't come off on your thumb, then you can be pretty sure that it's, it's going to sand all right. And, this is kind of what you're looking for. You're looking for it to just kind of powder off. You let it get too hard and it's like sand in a rock. So it's coming off nice and easy. I'm starting out with 80 grit. And we'll probably finish it out in uh, 120, 150, or 180, somewhere in there. Get it ready for some primer. You can start out with a coarser grit too. You just want to be sure and move up. Go from like 36, you can knock the top off, but then move to 80. So you don't have any really deep sand and scratches. It's always a good idea too to uh, wear a respirator, goggles, and gloves. But uh, since we're trying to do a little bit of video, it's kind of easier to show you without all your protective gear. Not healthy, not safe, but for video purposes. There you go, it's getting there.